right, hey everybody, Annika here, um, here to bring you a 45 minute Sculpt Express class. I have my lovely demo, Sam, here. We thought it would be super fun to record one today. Class was tiny, so why not? Um, if you're practicing at home, feel free to use anything that you have for weight. So I love milk jugs, wine bottles, really heavy jars of peanut butter if you have those. If you shop at Costco, that's great. Um, or, you know, you can just use air. Body weight is plenty. So um, grab your weight, set them at the top of your mat, and we'll get started in child's pose. Sink your hips back toward your heels. Allow your chest to be heavy. Rest your forehead on the earth. And just come into the space that you have here on your mats. Begin to deepen through your breath and really feel the space here that you have on your mat. So I am in the process of buying a new car, <laughs> um, which is not like my favorite process in the world, um, partially because I feel myself kind of uh, paralyzed by all the choices. It's like, okay, where do I even start? And I think that that feeling, sometimes I can carry it with me onto my yoga mat as well. I know all of us, we come here, whether we have big goals, scary goals, small goals, sometimes it can be really hard to find a place to start. But it's in those moments that you just got to give yourself a little kick in the butt. Tell yourself you have every tool within you to already be successful and continue on your journey here. Know that it might not always be pretty. It might not always be perfect, but it is always worth the effort. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, rise up, tabletop pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Can pedal through your heels, sway through your hips a little bit side to side. Do begin to spread wide between all 10 fingertips. Want you to be able to see the color of the mat between every single finger. Release your shoulders away from your ears. And if you feel any pinch in your lower back, simply invite a bend into your knees that will help release. Inhale, rise up to your tiptoes. Pause here and breathe. Pull muscle to bone in your quadriceps. Straighten your legs as much as you can. Breathe in. Exhale, lifted table. Breathe. Hover your knees an inch or two inches away from the mat. Press the mat away through your palms, round between your shoulder blades. Exhale. Inhale, high plank. Couple breaths here. Keep your shoulders in line with your wrists. Lift your hips so they're in line with your shoulders. Stack the heels of your feet over the balls of your feet. Nice, Sam. Big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's link breath to movement. Inhale, rise to tiptoes. Exhale, hover your knees, lifted table. Inhale, hinge forward, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, hover your knees. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Here's a change. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, reset your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, mountain pose. Rise all the way up. Pause here and breathe. Ground in actively through all four corners of your feet. Lift your toes off of the mat. Give them a little wiggle. And then squeeze your belly button in toward your spine. Breathe in. Exhale, mini back bend. Breathe. Press your hips slightly forward. Keep your glutes and your core engaged to protect your lower back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Breathe out. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. From here, once again, find your lifted table. So hover your knees and then begin to invite in a toe tap side to side. Tap right, center, left, center. Slow and steady here. Feel a little bit of a shake in your core. Know that lifted table, while it, all, while it does work your upper body, it's also a core exercise. Sometimes we get in our heads, we think that we have to have our bellies pointing up toward the ceiling to work the core. So I want you to really pull your belly button up and in, almost like your spine is a magnet here. 
and your belly button is the refrigerator. They want to connect. Last three. Keep it going, Sam. So strong. Last two. Last one. Inhale, high plank, straighten your legs. Exhale, downward facing dog. Sun A with breath. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel forward folds. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, forward folds. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. Breathe in, mountain. Exhale, forward folds. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. You guessed it, return back to lifted table pose. This time, find a few jacks. Out, in, in, out, in, out, in. Speed it up just a little bit. Know that you can always stay with a slow, low impact toe tap as well. But do keep your hips down in line with your shoulders. If you have the hop, land on the balls of your feet. They're like little shock absorbers here. Last three, find your high plank in two. And one, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful work, yogis and Sam. Take a full breath in, exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, Shiva dog. Pause here and breathe. Chamber your right knee behind your left, just like a Shiva squat when you're standing. Sink low into your left leg, exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, Shiva dog, continue here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, Shiva dog, slow and steady down. This will help work both legs, but I want you to really feel it in your left leg. Rise up onto your left hip toes, just like we did at the very beginning of class. Imagine you have a really tall stiletto on your foot and then like one inch taller than that. Last three. Three-legged dog in two. Beautiful breath, Sam. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Land between your hands. Inhale, standing splits. Breathe. Launch your weight up onto your right foot without clawing at your right toes. Check in with your fingertips. They're light on the earth. Allow your gaze to fall back toward your right knee, maybe even past your right knee. Breathe in here. Exhale, forward fold. Release. Inhale, halfway lift, reset. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Couple breaths here before we add on some movement. I like my feet hip width distance in chair pose. Just feels better in my lower back. But know that your big toes can also come to touch. Pull your inner thighs in toward one another. Love Sam's option here to press her hands in at heart center. We'll add on a little bit of movement. We have a pulse, pulse, stand. Pulse, pulse, stand. Lower, lower, lift. I forgot to mention this earlier, but if you haven't done so already, this workout's way more fun with music. Playlist is linked below. <laughs> and we are on the song Purple Hat, if you're just now tuning in. Pulse, pulse, stand. At the top, Sam squeezes her glutes in toward one another and presses her hips slightly forward. This is to keep her back body fully engaged, even as she straightens her legs. There's no rest here. Last three, hold it down to pulse in two. Hold it down, pulse. One inch up, one inch down. Temptation here is to turn this into a bounce and lose all engagement in your muscles, but decrease your range of motion. Really feel the work come from your muscles rather than just your joints or gravity. Last three. Chair pose in two. And one. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Breathe. Step your left foot back. Yep, left foot back. <laughs> your right leg is forward. It's okay if you're wonky. Eventually, you'll get your left leg forward. Reach your arms back. Squeeze your pinky fingers in toward one another. Draw your shoulder blades together on your back as well. Breathe out. Inhale, warrior two. Breathe. Sink low into your right lunge. I'm facing the camera. You'll see how Sam's body is set up. She's um, vertical toward the camera. So you can see she has heel to arch alignment in her lower body. Find that and then pull your inner thighs in toward one another. Breathe in here. 
Exhale, horse pose. Breathe. Point your heels in. Point your toes out. We give all 10 toes just a little bit of a wiggle here. And then track your knees out toward about the second toe on each foot. Exhale. Inhale back to warrior two. Open up. Exhale, chaturanga. Windmill your arms down. Elbows hug your sides. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, Shiva dog. Pause here and breathe. Connect your left knee to the backside of your right leg. Sink a little lower in your right knee. Exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, Shiva dog. Continue here. Inhales to lift. Exhales to find your deep, deep bend in your right knee. Let this shake. Know that it's not, that it's, very easy to find a little bit of a shake here. This is a very hard movement. No need to go too fast. Last three. Last two. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, standing splits. Couple breaths. Once again, avoid clawing with your left toes. Be light in your fingertips. Keep your shoulder blades together on your back, but let your head and neck go. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, feet together. Inhale, halfway lift, reset. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Go right into something slightly similar this time. You have a pulse, pulse, hop. Pulse, pulse, hop. Pulse, pulse, hop. Explode off of the balls of your feet. Tiptoes are a very important part of class today. You'll hear me talk about them a lot. You want to land on the balls of your feet rather than your heels. That just puts a lot of pressure on your lower back and your joints. Lower, lower, jump. Lower, lower, jump. Yes, you can. You're almost there. Little cardio burst right here. Last three. Last two. Last one. Breathe in. Chair pose. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Step your right leg back this time. Check in with your left knee. It's directly in line with your left ankle. Peel your belly off of your front thigh. Breathe out. Inhale, warrior two. Breathe. Now you got a nice shot of me from the back. <laughs> Sink low into your left lunge. Pull your left knee out toward your left pinky toe. Big inhale. Exhale, horse pose. Breathe. Heels in, toes out once again. Press your hands actively in at your heart center. Flare your elbows out toward either short side of your mat. Exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, chaturanga, windmill down. Elbows pull in tight. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Sam, you have perfect form today. I think you should be on camera every day. Take a full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Now we'll add in the weights. Inhale, extend your right leg high. Exhale, one Shiva dog. Yes, you can. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, low lunge. You can use your weights as stilts. Inhale, standing splits. Launch up with control. Exhale, forward fold. No weights. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Find your weights. Inhale, chair pose. Use the weights to sink a little lower. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Step your left leg back. Pull up. Squeeze your elbows in. Inhale, warrior two. Press your weights through your heart center. Exhale, horse pose. Press your weights in at your heart center. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, chaturanga. Pull, pivot, plant them down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, just one Shiva dog. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, low lunge, land light. Breathe in, standing splits. Remember, weights are there for balance. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway, no weights. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sink really low. Exhale, crescent airplane arms, right foot behind you. Keep your elbows hugged in. Inhale, warrior two, face your palms out in front of you. Exhale, horse pose, weights to your heart. Inhale, return to warrior two. Exhale, chaturanga, pull, pivot, plant them down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, Sam, are you ready to sculpt? 
Yes, we got a woo. Are you guys ready to sculpt? I'm gonna assume that you guys wooed right along with me and Sam. All right, let's sculpt. Inhale, extend your right leg high. Exhale, Shiva dog, chamber your right knee behind your left. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, Shiva dog. Inhale, three-legged, you got it, Sam. Exhale, Shiva dog, this time hold it down, pulse. One inch up, one inch down, pulse, pulse. Pulse. It's so tiny. Keep your inner thighs pulled in toward one another. I like the weights underneath my hands here. If you have weights, that's a great option. If your hands fit, sink a little lower. Yes, you can. Last three. Last two. Inhale, three legged. Exhale, low lunge. Find your weights as stilts once again. Inhale, standing splits. Start with the toe tap. Inhale, tap your left toes down. Exhale, lift up to about hip height. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Just focus on the movement in your left leg for now. We will add on a little bit of movement in your right leg. Flex your left toes back toward your shin. That will help engage your leg. It'll help it lift just a little bit easier. It's not going to be easy, but you came to do some work. Trust that even in these moments when maybe you want to throw in the towel, maybe you're like, I'm at home. Why am I doing this? You're doing this for a purpose. You started, you came here, you have put in this much work. So stay with us. As you are ready, add in a calf raise on your right leg. Inhale, everything lifts, lift up onto your right tip toes. Exhale, lower with control. This is where I really, really like to slow it down, especially on the descend as you lower your heel down back to touch the earth. Know that temptation there is to allow gravity to just like plop, plop you all down, but control it. Feel that tiny little shake as you lower down. You got it, Sam. You feeling your legs? Yeah. Woo, yes. Last four. Hold up on your tiptoes. Keep your left leg high in two. And one, tiptoe hold, begin to bend into your left knee, hamstring curl. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend. If this is too much on your right foot, you can always take it from a flat foot, just focus on the hamstring curl. Dial your left hip down so it's in line with your right. That might mean that your leg isn't quite as high as hip height. And guess what, yogis, that is perfectly fine. I want you to really use your muscles here rather than just opening up to make it easier. Last three. Keep your left leg bent in two. And one, keep your left leg bent. Pulse your foot up toward the ceiling. Woo! You're almost there, guys. You got it. Pulse. One inch up, one inch down. Last three, two. And one, inhale, standing splits. Exhale, forward fold, both feet on the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, find your weights. Inhale, chair pose. I'm gonna come this way, but you stay in chair. Bring your arms out wide, take a wider stance here. You have a wide-legged squat with a shoulder press. You lower, lower, press. That pulse, pulse, press is back once again. Pulse, pulse, squeeze up. Now that you have the weights in your hands, Really focus on stopping your elbows at shoulder height. Temptation is to, letting them, is to let them sag down. At the very top, pull your shoulder blades together on your back. Work to see if you can bring the heads of the weights together slightly behind your ears. Really get into your upper back here as well as your shoulders. Know that you can always take out the pulse pulse. You also could just hold down low in your lower body. Just something a little bit different to keep our muscles guessing. How you feeling, Sam? You got it. She was the only one at class today and she was so willing to be on YouTube. So let's give her a round of applause. Yes, yeah, she's crushing it. Last three, last two, last one. Inhale, chair pose, don't miss it. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Oops, step your left foot back. I was opposite. Find a tricep kickback. Inhale, bend your elbows, stop the weights at 90. Exhale, press up. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend up. Once again, name of the game here is to resist gravity. You could just swing your arms all the live long day, 
but know that if you pull your elbows in tight and focus on the bend and then a slow extend up, you'll feel that little shake. You'll feel so much more work here. Peel your belly off of your front thigh. Remember your magnets, they're still connected. This helps keep your lower body active and engaged. Yes, you got it. I love the breath. Propel your heart forward. Keep your shoulder blades together on your back, but release your shoulders away from your ears. Mine always start to creep up really, really close to my ears, kind of like earrings. You got it. Last three. Hold up to pulse in two. Hold up tiny pulse, pulse, pulse. It's a tiny bend just of your elbow joints. No shoulders whatsoever. Lift the heads of your weights up above your hips. Yes, you can. Last three. Last two. Exhale, arms back. Inhale, warrior two, open up. Lunge with a front raise. Inhale, lower. Exhale, front raise up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, front raise straight out in front. I want you to be able to see your weights. Stop at shoulder height here. You can always take this one arm at a time. In fact, especially if you have uh, super heavy weights, it's a great option. So you're not just straining in your lower back to lift both weights. This will help target your upper shoulders. These pretty muscles that we like to show off in our tank tops, they can be a little tricky to work. So this works those right here. Check in with your lower body as you lunge. Continue to pull your right knee out toward your right pinky toe, just as you did when we were just holding warrior two without the weights. Nice breath, Sam. I love it. Exhale everything you have, especially if you're at home. Breathe out of your mouth. It's okay. But know that your breath is the foundation, the starting point for your sculpt practice. Last three. Last two. Last one, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, horse pose, squat with an upright row. Inhale, lower, exhale, upright row up. Inhale, lower down, exhale, glide your weights along your torso. At the very top, you already know this, squeeze your glutes together, but now focus on the pull of your shoulder blades together. Imagine you have like a credit card or a piece of paper between your shoulder blades. It's a really important piece of paper. You do not want to drop it. Can you lift your, your elbows rather up above your shoulders at the very top? That's what transforms this into an upright row. Find a little pause there. Know that there's some work being done so your muscles might start to fatigue even just in that tiny little pause. That's okay. You got it, sink down low into your squat. Keep your knees tracked out toward about the second toe on each foot. Pull your tailbone directly underneath your shoulders as you lower. You start to notice your chest dips forward. You're going just a little bit too far. Take a couple steps back. Yes, you got it, last three. Weights to your heart center in two and one. Weights to your heart center, lift your front heel. Pulse, pulse. If you're opposite, it's okay. We'll eventually lift both. Lower lift, just one inch. Press your weights into your heart center. Flare your elbows out. See that my forearms are parallel to the earth. Drop your front heel, lift your back heel. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Woo, I feel the shake. I hope you all feel the shake too. Press your weights in. Your upper body still active and engaged. Last three, last two. Drop both heels, exhale. Inhale, warrior two, just a transition. Exhale, low lunge, pull, pivot, plant your weights down. Inhale, high plank, step back. You have a half burpee with a bicep curl at the top. Hop up, one bicep curl. Hop back, hop up, bicep curl. Continue here, yeah, Sam, nice. Little bit of cardio right here, mixed in with some strength work. We haven't worked your biceps much yet, so know that that is to come. Yes, I love the depth in her squat at the very top. If you need to rise up just a little bit, that's okay. But do you see that both feet are planted on the earth? Yes. Leave a gentle bend in your elbows, even as you lower down in front, and then plant the weights. I want your biceps engaged the entire time. Yes, last three. 
You will hold your malasana or wide-legged squat at the top in two. Hold your squats. Bicep runners. Run it out. Run it out. If you're not at the pop it song quite yet in the playlist, this is the perfect pace to run out your biceps. Fatigue them. Keep your heart rate up. Go. Go. Sink low. You got it. Four. Three. Two. Boat pose. Boat pose. Take a seat on both sitting bones. I like my heels on the earth here. Press one or both weights into your heart. Sink back a little lower. Inhale at the center. Exhale, row to the right. Row your boat. Inhale, center. Exhale, row to the left. Continue here. Yes, Sam ditched one weight. You can also ditch both weights. That's a great option, especially if you have super heavy weights and you notice just all of a sudden this weight dump into your lower back. We're still working the front side of your core here, even as we rotate to work your obliques. Yes, beautiful. Keep your inner thighs squeezed in toward one another. And then squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back as well. This is a heart opening posture, especially when it's done in like a power two or a power one. You got it. Last three. Last two. Hold to the right. Little pulse. 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 One inch up, one inch down. Rotate through your middle back. Pull your belly button down. Yes, you can. Three, two, and one. Rotate other side. Pulse. Pulse. How you feeling, Sam? Woo! Last three, two, and one. Set your weights. High five your dog, your cat. Air high fives. Woo! All right, you ready to hit the second side? Yes. Yes. You guys are ready, too. A downward facing dog. The advantage on this side is that you kind of know what's to come. Very little surprises on the second side. I promise I will not go off book. I have my book right here. I'm going to look at it. Take an inhale together. Exhale, sigh it all out. Let it go. Inhale, extend your left leg high. Exhale, Shiva dog. You've done this before. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, Shiva dog. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, Shiva, last one, inhale. Exhale, Shiva, this time hold it down, little pulse. One inch up, one inch down. Rise up really tall onto your right tip toes. I know you can. The other thing about the second side is the left side of your body is probably already a little bit more tired than the right side was. That's okay, you are here, you can make it through. You came to do the work. So put in the work, you're almost there. Last three, last two. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing splits. Start with your right toe taps. Inhale, tap down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Once again, avoid rotating your right hip open toward the right side of your mat. Even if that means you decrease your range of motion. And just like you did before your body was tired, before we had done the first side, allow your gaze to fall back toward your left knee. Begin to test your balance just a little bit. That can be super scary. Maybe you don't want to try, but I challenge you to start. Just start somewhere. And if you lose your balance, that is okay. Last three. Add in your calf raise. In two. Add in your calf raise. Inhale, everything lifts. And then slowly lower. Yes, you got it. Stop your heel at hip or, um, yes, right hip height, no higher. And then squeeze your right glute in toward the bone. Feel your glutes do some work here. Once again, that little shake, that is what we are after. That's strength. You got it. Continue here, Sam. You're almost done. Last three. Stay on your tiptoes in two. Stay on your tiptoes, hamstring curl. Inhale, bend your right knee. Exhale, extend straight back. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. I've done about like two reps for her like 50 bazillion. And I'm tired. She is crushing it. You guys are crushing it. You got it. It's not easy to work out at home. It's not easy to do this without a community. But you started. And that is a-okay. That is awesome. Last three. Pulse your foot up in two. 
and one, pulse it up. Flex your right toes up toward your um, shin here. Body parts are hard toward the end of class. Pulse it up, pulse it up. Make the movement even smaller. Yes, you can. Last four, three, two. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, forward fold, ditch your weights. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, chair pose. Very similar to the other side. Heel toe your feet out. This time it's with a pack deck. Pulse, pulse, pack deck, straighten your legs. Pulse, pulse, straighten. Pulse, pulse, squeeze in. Keep your elbows at shoulder height or slightly below. And then work to see if you can pull your forearms together in front of your face, almost like you won't even be able to see me on the TV, computer, whatever it is that you're watching at home. Sink your hips straight below your shoulders here. Protect your lower back. Sometimes I even come into a little bit of a horse pose stance. As you can probably see, Sam has done the same. Her heels are slightly in, toes point slightly out. That allows you to find just a little bit more depth. Especially if you have any lower back pain, take a wider stance here. It's okay. Last three. 